probably is it's been about five minutes, uh, and ten seconds. The beans are around 340. Um, still have the flame on pretty full. Um, everything's going nicely. You can see the exhaust temperature slowly climbing. It's about 370 now. And the beans have that nice kind of peanut butter color to show you. One important thing to note is we're getting really good. This is the El Salvador I was talking about, by the way. We're getting very good heat transfer, very uniform here. And uh, you don't see any scorching or anything on the beans. So uh, that's because we improved the airflow as we had discussed of the modification we made for better heat transfer. And uh, so it's been six minutes now. Beans are temperature will be climbing, you see a degree every I don't know, three seconds or so. That's pretty good. That tells us that we have good heat transfer. Oh, probably even enough heat, actually, even though our propane setup isn't um, textbook or anything. But um, um, the roasters, I don't know, maybe 120 pounds. So once you preheat the metal, you've got a lot of contained heat. Uh, it's warm to the touch here. The outside of the drum, the motor's cool. That's good. The uh, burner chamber is, uh, of course, warm. The rest of it should be pretty cool. And um, you can see it's quiet. We've got a little duct there. I think that's probably about a four inch there. Then we're going to a to a five. And then uh, we, were just, we were venting it out in the room, but I see my tape got a little bit loose. Okay, tape that back up there. So it's been seven minutes, and the beans are 370. They should be dark peanut butter colored now, and uh, you know, almost ready to pop, actually. So you'll notice a substantial color change there. If you look at the beans, they are definitely free first crack. Also, uh, once again, I don't know how much I can zoom with this thing, but uh, I think you can see very uniform, very uniform. So. Everything's going good. I think it's good enough that I'll have a sip of my coffee. Mm. I do happen to be drinking the El Salvador, so. Uh, 385, so the beans probably, it's been about eight minutes, and I just actually heard first crack. I was gonna mention that normally, if you have an accurate thermometer probe, then 390 is about the expected temperature of first crack. I'll be quiet for a minute, maybe you'll be able to hear the crack. I'll, I'll take the fryer out. I don't know if you can hear it, but I can certainly hear it. Nice tight crack, the beans are acting in unison, that's good. We'll take a peek. Uh, uniform, the center line just starting to open up. It's been eight, and a half, eight minutes, 40 seconds, so that's good. Plenty of heat, so you can see the beans have expanded. Once again, uniform. No scorching, so we're doing good here. I'm gonna do a light cupping roast, I guess, because that's, uh, that way I can take this home to drink tomorrow for breakfast. So um, I'm actually gonna start, at about 4.10, I'm gonna start lowering the flame because um, we'll be through the crack, uh, which means we don't really need much heat for a light roast, but I'll just show you now. The flame's on full, uh, on full and uh, beans are four or six, it's been, Nine minutes, 18 seconds. Still climbing, I'm gonna lower the flame. I'm gonna use the gauge, I'll go down to maybe three on the gauge. With a uh, pretty small flame, a little yellow, that's just because our tank isn't set up right, but we'll keep looking here. What we don't want to do is stall the beam, so as long as we see this going up one degree every three or four seconds, I would say, um, uh, this is a good time. That, 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 that's what tells you if you um, have a flame set too high or too low. Uh, so we have steady climb in. I'm actually going to lower this to two here on the gate. And uh, make sure we still have climbing. Don't want to lose our momentum. So just we'll take a peek now and see if the temperature is still going up. 
take a peek, see if it goes up another degree. Yep, so we've got enough heat still, even though I'll show you the flame is quite tiny. But at the end, you don't need much. A couple of candles to keep the beans going normally. So 420, I'm going to eyeball them. They're probably pretty close to, to the color I want to take them out at. So uh, take a peek here. And I just, uh, you see, uniform, nice. And uh, I would say they're done. I'm going to let them out. I'm going to change the flap to the coolie position. Let them out, and uh, then I'll turn on the stirrer. You can see there's uh, plenty of room in the cooler. I should probably shouldn't open the door quite that much, but plenty of room in the cooler. Um, you can see the beans are uniform. So that was uh, definitely under an 11 minute road. Uh, very nicely developed city, somewhere between city and full city. Uh, I don't think we have it level on this crate, so um, taking a little longer than you'd expect. Hello! Taking a little longer than you'd expect. Uh, be right with you. Tax there? Yeah. Yep. We're all set for you right here. So, uh, Elliot, this is uh, the roaster. We're going to shut the flame off now. Uh, works well. Any questions, let me know.